Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a histogram with a correct x-axis scale. Uh, the data that I'll be using is some uh, housing price data from the earlier mid-1990s. I believe it's real data and I, I guess the uh, prices represent uh, the selling prices in thousands of dollars. I'm going to take this data in column B uh, and copy it and paste it into a new worksheet right here. And at uh, uh, I would like to sort it from smallest to largest. So there's a quick sort key under data. Here it is. And now it's sorted from smallest to largest. So what I see is the smallest price is 59,000. And uh, the uh, largest price is 195,000. So I'll need to create some intervals or some class bins, as Excel calls them, uh, such that the smallest, the first bin, is larger than the smallest value. Let's try to use a nice round number like 60. Let's go up by tens, 10,000 in this case. and uh, up to 200,000 and that way I know that the last bin contains the largest value of our data. Okay, I'm ready to make the histogram now. We'll go data, data analysis, histogram, press OK. The input range for the uh, variable is price. Let's highlight all that. Then for the bin range that's in B1 through B16. I've selected that. Labels in the first row. Let's put the output right here in D1. And let's see the chart, the actual graph. Press OK. And this is uh, the graph we got. Okay, it looks uh, like it could be better presented. So let's stretch this out first of all. That looks good. We don't need this frequency legend. I click on it once, hit the delete key. Let's uh, get rid of this more category, which is unnecessary. Let's highlight these two cells, right click and delete, and shift the cells up, and it gets taken out of the graph. The uh, x axis uh, title is really prices in thousands, so let's click on it. Click on it again, and let's change the name of that x-axis to price in uh, thousands. Okay, we can also change the title of the overall graph. Histogram of house prices, thousands of dollars. Um, okay, that's a pretty big title. Let's make it smaller. Click on it once, go to home. Let's change the uh, font to maybe size 12. That looks a little better. A little more. Let's right click on the bars. Format data series. Let's change the gap width to zero. Uh, let's go to fill, no fill, border color, solid line. Let's change that to black. Press OK. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, now the only problem remaining with this graph is that the bin values here actually represent upper boundaries on each one of these rectangles. So uh, the scale is off just a bit. We can correct that easily enough. Let's move this over to the right a little bit. I'm going to create a new column called midpoint. And it turns out that the midpoint for this first rectangle must be 55 if this the 60 is really the upper boundary of the rectangle. Then the lower boundary would be 50. So this is 55. The next one must be 65, etc. Okay, I'll copy that down. Now uh, let's change these uh, values in the graph to these new midpoint values. So right click anywhere on the graph. Select data. And then over here, where it says horizontal category axis labels, 
click edit and then highlight your midpoints press ok press ok and it's done and uh, we have a nice looking histogram okay that's it for now